time now for our daily vaccine tracker. There is a lot of buzz about the high efficacy rates being displayed by some of the vaccine candidates. Pfizer and BioNTech's shot, for example, has reportedly proven to be 95% effective in preventing the Wuhan virus. Russia has said that Sputnik V is 92% effective. Moderna is promising 94.5% efficacy. And researchers now say that the Oxford and AstraZeneca candidate has shown immune response in over 99% of the candidates. This is based on the phase two of the clinical trials. But what do all these numbers mean for you and me? Here are some of the questions we will be looking to answer tonight. Number one, now that we have high efficacy rates, what will the next step be for the makers of these vaccines? Number two, which countries will get the vaccines first? Number three, what will be the distribution and storage process? And finally, what it all comes down to, when will you and I be getting the Wuhan virus vaccine shot? We answer these questions one by one. First, what happens next? The World Health Organization demands a 50% efficacy for authorizing a vaccine. So vaccine candidates that have crossed that mark in phase three of the clinical trials, like Pfizer, Sputnik V, Moderna, will approach drug regulators of the home countries to get their vaccines authorized. Pfizer, for example, is already filing for emergency authorization with the FDA or the US Food and Drug Administration. The regulatory authorities will conduct inspection and also investigate the claims of the drug makers. It is only after this that the authorities will award a license for manufacturing the vaccine. Given the seriousness of the Wuhan virus pandemic, the manufacturing of most vaccines has already been started so that the shots can be made available at the earliest. Question number two, which countries will get the vaccine first? Many countries have already struck deals for leading vaccine candidates. Shots were pre-ordered even before the results for phase three trials were released. There are many potential vaccines in the race and one too many countries vying for them. So to avoid confusion, let's look at the pre-orders for the leading candidates. Pfizer has deals with America, the UK, Japan and the European Union. It is to these that Pfizer will send its vaccines first. What about India? New Delhi is in talks with Pfizer, but as per India's regulatory requirements, a vaccine must undergo local trials before it can be approved in the country. To the next candidate now, Russia has signed agreements with over 10 countries for Sputnik V. The list of countries include India, Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Brazil. Moderna has deals with the United States and Japan. AstraZeneca has reached an agreement with Europe, Australia and Brazil. India's Serum Institute is also carrying out local trials for the vaccine. Once a vaccine is manufactured, it must be transported, stored and distributed with utmost care. So on to question number three, what will be the storage and distribution process? As we told you yesterday, the government of India reportedly has already asked the states for all the details of the cold chain up to block level. In India, there are cold chains at various levels. There are government medical supply depots or what's called GMSD. Then there are state, regional and divisional vaccine stores. There are also district vaccine storage points. So from all these points, the vaccines will reach the last storage point, that is the community health center or the public health center or the private facilities. And then the vaccine will be administered to the people. Each vaccine will have a different cold chain requirement. For example, if and as and when the Pfizer vaccine makes its way to India, it will require storage at minus 70 degrees Celsius. And not all Indian cold chains can facilitate that. Shelf life is also a very crucial factor here. The Moderna vaccine, for example, is stable at refrigerator temperatures for 30 days. And here too, different vaccines will have different shelf lives. Be it storage or distribution, it is only fair to think that the process will be carried out in a public-private partnership, meaning there will be private players involved. On to the final question. When will you and I be getting the Wuhan virus vaccine shot? To be honest, it's a very tricky question to answer. It all depends on when the vaccines get regulatory approval at the home countries and also the country where it is supposed to be distributed. It all depends on which vaccines come to the country that you are watching us from tonight. For example, if you are watching us from the United States, 
then a particular update from Pfizer would be important for you. The company has said that if, if everything goes well, then vaccine deliveries could start before Christmas itself. A lot also depends on where you stand in the local priority list. In India, for example, healthcare workers will be the first ones to be getting the vaccine.